What's good, relatives? Welcome back to Real Smoke TV. Today we got another video of playback. Feminist TikTok is so cringe. Let's check it out. Welcome back, playback. We're here with another banger. We got the queen of toxicity on TikTok. Women carry a pregnancy for nine months until birth. Then they make milk to feed the baby. Men's contribution to this process lasts about eight seconds on a good day. Why men think that they have so much to say on reproductive rights will always be a mystery. Stop telling strong women. Hey, what is she balls. talking about? You know what balls do? Oh, I get this one a lot. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm about to. She's about to just nitpick the hell out of every single last thing. <laughs> Literally everything. Do like a lot of analysis. Yes. yes. They shrivel up when it's cold like little bitches and make men cry when they get kicked. Strong women have ovaries. Ovaries are so tough, they kick us once a month just to sh If you sock a woman in her breast, she will fall out. Show us it's equivalent. Oh, this can be tough. Now, this can be tough to get through myself. Because obviously she has, like, points she believes in. Why, why, why you got to talk about what you believe in by belittling everything in opposition? No, yeah, it's just the same, dog. It's, 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 it's just I don't the think same. no one ever thought it literally. Yeah, no one literally thought it literally. Like, you're you're making this, like, a literal thing, and it's just a same. You are not obligated to forgive your abuser. Not if they're dying. Not if they found Jesus. Not if they beg. Not if they want to just know your kids. You do not owe your abusers anything. It is not an act of aggression to close the door and never look back. Fertile 24 days a year. Men are fertile 365. Want to prevent unwanted pregnancies? You're creating laws for the wrong group. Men don't recognize but she, wow. abuse as actual abuse. Many of them will be proud to not have laid a hand on a woman, but their loophole is breaking women's spirits. Hey, ain't that so sad, real quick? Bro, who the fuck is proud you snipe somebody? Why Why is that? Oh, you shouldn't be proud. That should just be the standard, guys. I, was, I, think, I, think, I don't think I've like, ever no, had a no. combo with a guy where he was proud. Like, damn, look how much I've accomplished by not doing that. But, that, but the thing is that... The thing is that women know that, like, that's, like, the standard. What? That we don't bother. What? They, they know for a fact we don't, men don't, do not put their hands on women. Like, that's a, a board, that's just a standard. Women know that already. And I know they know that because some women take advantage of that fact and then still hit men knowing that they're not going to hit them back. Right? So, she's making it seem like we, try, hey, just, just for women out there who think that this, no, men are not going around each other. Hey, Frank. Good job, man. Yeah, really. I ain't strike my girl in three weeks. Hey, good job, man. <laughs> I'm working on my second year. <laughs> like, no one is doing that. No, no one goes around and gives themselves celebratory praise about not putting their hands on their girlfriends or wives. It's not. I think sometimes people get stuck in a loop when they're making content where they got to keep making the same. You did it once. Maybe it served a purpose once. Yeah. And now you got to keep doing it because that's what works and you're hooked onto the process. That might be her situation. And she's just trying to top it. So. Yeah. Like, how crazy can it get? It's like, it's just stuff ain't making any sense to me. Man says he sold drugs to feed his family. It's accepted. But when a woman says she started stripping for the same reason, she's shamed. I guarantee you it's accepted. That shit is yeah. accepted. What is she talking about? It's, it's almost celebrated. Cardi B was celebrated. For yes. That. Hey, let's stop. Let's Literally, stop. a whole career was birthed off of that concept. And also, um, it's not, hey, again, it, she's almost talking through a lens of, like, not men. There's other men who look at other men doing that, and nobody is celebrating them. No, and, and even if they are accepting it, it's what the mentality of, okay, but how are you taking yourself out of that environment as soon as possible? No one is sitting like, all right, man, I catch you next week on the block. Like, that's not how this is going. Also, there is women that sell drugs and, and men that strip, so... Your argument, assuming that that does that's not the case. Like in general, like, yeah. Like what this one thing has a general. Yeah. Okay. That's a, that's a lot actually, especially on Snapchat. My body belongs to a man I haven't even met. Men who are worried.
Are what? Are the feminism, the anti-men movement, are the ones that are anti-women in reality. They are afraid of being abused and mistreated because... <laughs> I don't want to hear a minute. That's me saying women that are offended by... If uh, someone sent you, if you rights have... Activists are really anti-men. Like, your arguments are rooted so deeply in... Really, more What's so just the word to in... debunk men. And, and, but it's like, what is this, a partisanship? It's like your ability to, like, you don't want unity. That's not your objective at all. It's this group is against us, and I'm going to use bad analogies and poor assumptions to base my arguments off of it. You're not really pushing anything forward. You're telling us what you believe in, but you're arguing for it in really bad ways, like and, over and over again. And what's what I find very odd about people like this is that coming from someone who's participating in the group of people she's trying to like debunk their ideology, like men don't think this way. Almost most of the things she said, I have not ran into that many men who are like, all like that, that like are counterintuitive to what she's saying. Again, there's no man who's patting another man on the back for not putting his hands on a woman. Like no one doesn't do it. It's just like that's across the board. That's a standard of what men believe in. There's no man who's going around who's immediately thinking to himself, he's not that many at least because they definitely exist. When they hear the word feminism, they don't immediately think to themselves like, oh, we just got to, oh, I can't, like, it's not, it's not instant. They have been mistreating women and overlooking misogyny their entire lives. You are offended by feminists being in power because you have been misusing your place in society to enable oppressive regimes. <clears throat> women like her. Are wild, bro. She's in it for some money. She's literally just trying to make some money. She she has, bro. She's probably a walking contradict. A walking ah oh, hair in my mouth. A walking contradiction. Why do you need makeup to get this point across? She made herself look hella good for a freaking, and this is TikTok, I'm sure, so her videos ain't that long, right? And now, you're afraid of having the tables turned she, She's the reason why, when she's part of the reason why the world is fucking up people, nowadays. That's a bad argument in so many ways. Power is not a, y'all misunderstanding what power is. Power is leverage and control over others. And so your ability to get your way, usually at the cost of others. It shouldn't be celebrated just because somebody, a uh, different person in, like, just, oh, it's, it's a female, it's a black person in power. Power is almost always can be misused depending on the person. You yes. assuming that just because you put a diverse person in a position of power doesn't mean they could just as easily misuse it is incorrect. You know, I'm watching a very interesting show right now called Colony. And the premise is... Aliens come down and start using the humans as a labor force. And you know what the humans do? The humans arrange themselves in power hierarchies, both men and women, so that they enslave their own race. But the people at the top of the power hierarchy receive short-term benefits of not being sent to, like, those slave labor camps. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's an interesting commentary on the human condition because it's like, hold on now. Because both women and men fighting for these positions of power so that they don't become the people at the bottom. You shouldn't celebrate it just because. Come on now. Because someone different is getting their chance at power. Ideally, we should be making it more equal across the board, not celebrating who has it. The reality is, is or just the person who has it needs to be competent at whatever they're doing, whatever yes. control they have. You just labeling it as just gender uh, that doesn't make any it doesn't, it doesn't it actually defeats the purpose of what feminism should be about it should be about equality so the person who receives it gets it not because of a certain race religion or gender but because they're adequate at the job yeah, no one i'm not i'm not there shouldn't be men there should be people that have the most power should have less of it that's what everyone should be arguing when we're breaking up the fact when Instagram gets bought by Facebook, the fact that people fight that is because you're giving Facebook way too much power. You're giving it almost a monopoly over social media. It's become so prevalent in our lives. We should be arguing that people with power have less power, not different people get to use that power. When women hate men... Classism is bullshit. But when men hate women, 
it turns into legislation. Bro, what is she talking Stop about? girls by the arm or waist to say excuse me. We hear you without being touched. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Men who fetish traditional women and obsess over women that are modest, obedient, quiet, and homemakers are walking red flags. They are insecure boys that are intimidated by strong, confident women. Get a dog if you want obedience. Okay, that, that point, <laughs> what she's saying is, I understand what she's trying to say, but she's just, again, wrong doing so many different ways. I don't understand. I don't understand, like... I guess it's because, like, there's a, they, first of all, it's definitely an echo chamber, and it's definitely a bubble of people who live within one another, live within a community, and they just say the same talking points over and over again, because they like to hear themselves talk. The concept of someone being obedient, sure, that sounds like a negative connotation behind it, but the reality is that what they're referring to, they just want someone who's cooperative in, in the process of growing as a, how obedience is not cooperative. Obedience is. Obedience is based off the word obey. Obey, okay, is, obey is to go just, the other way. The cooperation is like LeBron James and Anthony Davis cooperate. They don't obey each other. Obey is like a stronger on the spectrum of what the fuck to do. I've never even heard a man use that word. Neither have I, really, to be quite frank. With you. I, I, I've heard, I heard cooperate. It's cooperate. If you hear somebody say, my woman obeys me, he puts his hand on her for real. I've never heard nobody use He be whooping her cheeks. But there's different... It depends on the spectrum of which one's more extreme. Obeys on the far end because it's like it, you obey your master. But that's what I'm saying. I don't think that when men, even if a man says it, I don't think he's necessarily saying to that extent. Which man, dog? I've but that's a, that's. But hey, let's be clear. I've never heard a man say it either. But if he is, I'm more. I'm assuming he's referring to cooperation rather than obeying my my decision making in the relationship. I think. Use, having to use extremes to make your point in an argument proves like your argument doesn't have enough evidence to support it yet. It, it might in the future, but obey, dog. Come on, man. It's a strong the word. Lady, it's an insult to women. My dude, you got this backward. <laughs> we have our own career, money. We buy our own houses and cars, and have access to a selection of pleasurable toys our ancestresses could only dream of. Companionship is great and all, but as we've all discovered, it comes in many forms. So if you see a woman with a cat, but you don't see a guy, that's usually because she did the math and men scored lower than a furry animal. That's definitely not what that means. Do not take her word for that. That is somebody that I can't speak on it because everyone is different, but that's definitely not true. How are you going to blame the man solely because the woman has a cat and she's alone? Like, stop it. That shit's in a box. See, okay, and that right, that's, that's what I'm saying. That, like, that is, is just so extreme. S- saying that she did the math, you did the math, there's a lot of caring of the ones you didn't do. Because there's no way you do math and you think that a cat is a better companion than another human being. That makes no sense. You know what's funny? If she just got done making a point, if you want someone to obey you, get a dog. And the next TikTok is her saying that it's okay she to have the bad and got a cat. <laughs> and also, we're not talking about one cat. Cat ladies are the ones who oh. are probably a long, a older in life with a whole bunch of cats because they could not sufficiently build themselves in a relationship with someone to have other things in their life to occupy their free time. Animals can be great companions, but not in place of humans. It's the impossible. Toys, though, she said. The, the, the pleasure, the pleasure and utensils she, she referred to Stop that her ancestors didn't have. Stop it. You can't As believe. if, like, that would be the only reason why you have, have sex. Just to pleasure yourself. You know, you know, people love to have families, you know, have kids, you know. Humans, humans are work. social in nature. One of the worst things you can do hey, is not meet them physically. You can't trust a woman like that. Exactly. She's going to lead you down the wrong way. Long duration of time. Long, like, long time. You start to lose your mind. And if, if Mr. Beast did it for a video for like a few days, and he was talking about how that was one of the most brutal videos he ever did. The human Humans are designed to be social creatures. He was arguing that you can do, have all these toys in place of humans is bad logic. I, I guess you could have that same social interaction. So... 
this is a small part of it, but this is machine taking over, man. With friends, but you're not fucking your friends, so it's not the same thing, I guess. But to have the logic of she she was with guys, and after the interaction with men that she had, she realized, you know what? I guess. I mean, at the end of the day, maybe no, you're different. Not, and I guess. That never she's, she's happy she with toys. Worse, but then, Jay, that's you. You just be happy that you way. Pick, you picked the worst men to talk to. If that that, that was a conclusion, you tried twice and was like, ah, I'm good. Like that's what you had to do. Yeah, I, I, hey, whatever. I can see where I think. But it's just such a weird argument oh, we to make. Done. Let's not glamorize that right there. No, please. Let's not. If there is one piece of relationship advice that I could give to single straight women, it's that you're not his mother. You don't have to take his tantrums and walk him through basic shit. I know that women are taught that we have to be nurturing all the time, but it is not your responsibility to teach him how to be a better person. Men who can't cook, clean, do their own laundry, or basic life chores shouldn't be normalized. They will need a woman who can care for them. They are spoiled brats so dependent on gender roles that they never bother to learn the basic life skills to be able to take care of themselves. Mm. Men who need to be spoon fed but claim to run the this world. Okay. I don't so like you okay. so but she, she did it again at the end, bro. She ended it on a bad note again. You were so good because we know a couple of these guys. We know a couple of these guys who, who don't know how to clean up behind themselves. But but it's like those are life skills. Everybody should have in the same way. But you can flip the switch and say that most women, especially those who depend on a man to pay for everything. Should have life skills of how to be organized financially. But she'd probably agree with you on that too. She would, but I would argue that may be a more detrimental because knowing how to budget is probably going to take much longer to knowing how to wash dishes. You know what I'm saying? Especially because the dishwasher, I just put it (laughs) in the button and I'm gone. This is such a weird point to make. Yeah, don't, don't, Kathy. Yeah, most dishwashers. I I need a a premium dishwasher to see like if you can really get rid of everything. Dishwashers is like. Uh, ice cream that's just designed to break. I'm exhausted oh, listening to that. I know, but at, right till she got to the end, understandable. I think there's certain life skills that everybody should have. But them when they're saying everybody. they claim to rule the world, like, bro, we are talking about the men who legitimately like, claim to rule the world, like Jeff Bezos. Crack nigga, he, he ain't gotta clean nothing. Like, I, if Jeff Bezos gets done with his food and then somebody says, oh, you gonna do this real quick? I'm gonna say, nigga, that's Jeff that nigga has so many other, so many more things pressing in his life. Just wash his dick. It's wild. Look, I guarantee you, he's not in need. Jeff Bezos can hire a whole team of professionals yes. to wash his dick. Yes. Every time he gets done, the, the people in actual positions of power they just hire people to do the things that you're claiming they desperately need to do. We have been taught that a woman's body will cause men to sin. That if she shows too much, <laughs> men will do stupid that, things. It's that mean you. Women are destroying men, if that's the case. Very important that the work that we're doing comes from the king. Okay. Better a woman's body is not dangerous to you. Her body will not cause you harm. It will not make you do stupid things. If you do stupid things, it's because you are stupid and you chose to do stupid things. Wow, that's crazy. See, see, yeah, I, I agree. agree what you want to I add. agree. Self-responsibility. We like to hear that. I agree. I agree. A lot of things she's arguing, nobody else really argues. Like, I had to be in the wrong with her. You know, some people even oh, see her like, right? damn, I blocked her, but she was, she was really asking for it. Yeah. Well, you and me just are right. If those people can portray your circle, then that's when I know I need out. We got this circle. Because y'all, that's, y'all all okay with Greg just saying that, huh? Y'all okay with Greg just saying what he just said? All right, let, let me know and I'll just back out. I just, I just disappear out of this circle. I get it. I get that's it. Crazy. We do it for the views. Uh, she's saying shit she believes in in a way where it gets views on TikTok. It's not the end of the world. It's the content at the end of the day. To be fair, though, she also likes these nine to five people, like, Average men who go on TikTok and they're like, man, I don't, I don't want to marry nobody. Like, she got signed a prenup. She goes, she's going to take half. I'm like, nigga, you make 37000 a year. 
Slow down, nigga. No judge is gonna sit there and say half of your twenty, your, your forty thousand dollar a year paycheck. No, I say that, bro. No, I'm not leaving you a twenty k in salary, bro. Calm down. You're not gonna get nothing from it, right? It's such an extreme that you don't. That is a problem that you don't really have to worry about, all right, bro? So yes, Bell is in in that vein as well. Where just so many. Y'all just argue extreme. Yeah, at the end of the day, stop making extreme examples to try to figure out. Because you gotta use like the, uh, a third, like uh, like maybe a third, like a three percent chance of this scenario happening to try to make a TikTok. And your TikTok is about there are scenarios that happen across the TikTok has changed the way. Yes, it has incentivized people to take like others to follow trends to get. Unlike any other app, be hooked on. And that's how you become a bot. You feel me? And if you become a bot, Will Smith will come get you. And while I would usually argue that's usually a great thing, is for most people it could be like an outlet to explore your creativity, man, and see what you're interested in. It was for me when I got on YouTube. I was hooked on the same thing. Yeah. I uploaded a Marshawn Lynch clip and did eighty thousand views. I'm like, oh, eighty thousand views felt great. Let me do yeah. some more. And so then I got into it. I found out I love video and editing and 3D modeling and animation. So I got into things I was interested in due to content creation. So when you find something that you love doing, put all the efforts into it. You never know what you can make out of it. Sky is the limit. There's plenty of benefits, though. Sometimes I get on TikTok and I'm like, you're just doing this to get your next hit. I can tell you. Yeah, you're you just doing this shit to get another. And that's hit. also sad because you can tell when they're like, and you're just sitting here pan- you're pandering to an audience that is trying to grasp into some unrational concept that they just. They said get your next hit. I said get some monies. So both ways, I feel like you know. Man, people like her, I don't know what be going through their head. But anyway, I know what's going through my head. <clears throat> Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for tuning in, relatives. You know, you always welcome in. Mi casa es su casa, you know? Whenever you're hungry, you need something to drink, knock on the door, I will let you in. You feel me? Take care of you because, you know, you are my relatives. Catch you next time on the flip side. Yeah, it is.